Zoos always seek to attract more visitors by setting up new offers and add more activities that visitors can do for money. In some gardens, the public is allowed to feed predators directly for a sum of money as the visitor buys live animals such as cows, goats and rabbits and feeds them to lions and tigers. Although those responsible for these zoos justify this act by claiming that such activities helps predators to restore their ability to prey and maintains their lifestyle and natural instincts, but these bloody activities have many negative aspects. Also, this action cannot be considered a simulation of the natural environment because the space reserved for lions and tigers is not enough, and officials prevent these predators from food for several days. And this is deliberate manipulation to make lions and tigers more violent in killing and predation. Also, prey is presented to a large number of predators in a limited area. And this is not similar to normal life, as the predator and prey must struggle and fight for a long time. And in open spaces, the predator is forced to chase the prey for a long distance. Most of these predators are kept in captivity. Consequently, most of them do not acquire the capabilities and skills of killing naturally as happens to predators in the wild. As a result, lions and tigers in zoos cannot deal with prey with expertise and efficiency and instead target non-lethal parts of prey. This prolongs the time of predation as it causes prey a lot of pain. The most strange visitors are not concerned with the prey suffering as much as they are feeding lions and tigers. Children are the largest part of the audience, and this bloody show may seriously harm the psychological well-being of the children present. Also, these predators cause a threat to the safety of visitors at times. Therefore, adequate measures must be taken to prevent these types of shows, or at least prevent children from viewing such violent shows. In the end, do you think that such shows should be banned in zoos, or is this a very natural occurring daily event in the wild and there is no need to deprive the public of these scenes? Share your opinion in the comments.